So I'm still on vacation in South Korea on the island of Jeju, and this is a pretty beautiful place. In fact, it's so beautiful, I just I needed an excuse to get out there in the sun and kind of tool around. So I decided to rent this. It's not really a car, but I'm going to call this rental number 132, and this is the 2016 Inokim Quick 3 electric scooter. MSRP is for about $2,000, and it's made by an Israeli and Chinese company that started business back in 2011 under the name My Way Quick. And the reason I bring up that company is because the founder of My Way Quick claims to be the first person ever to think up this new modern electric scooter idea, which uh, I think is pretty interesting. Anyway, let's start off by talking about specs. Uh, this thing weighs about 11 pounds, so it's light enough to carry around, and it does collapse and fold up, by the way. It's also got three speed settings. So mode one will get you up to six kilometers per hour. That's equivalent to four miles per hour. Mode two has a top speed of 12 kilometers per hour, or uh, eight miles per hour. And then mode three has a top speed of 20 kilometers per hour, which is equivalent to 12 miles per hour. So not super fast, but uh, still fast enough to have a little bit of fun. Range is 23 to 28 miles. Uh, so depending on how fast you're going, slower being better, you can push this thing to a pretty decent range. But charging time is where I think this thing is lacking. From empty to full, it's going to take you a full seven hours to charge up this scooter. Thankfully, though, you do have a couple other better features. 10-inch uh, pneumatic front and rear wheels. Uh, you do get front and rear lights, which is new on the Quick 3 model, and you have a maximum load of about 265 pounds. So not quite to adults, but uh, maybe if you want to push the envelope a little bit. So driving this thing is super easy. I, I didn't get much of a tutorial. The guy I rented it from barely spoke any English, so he basically just said, push this button right here and watch out for the bumps in the road. So uh, that's what I did. For the full hour I drove this thing, I just held down that accelerator all the way and cruised around at that comfortable 12 miles per hour. Felt pretty good. Handling is, uh, well, it's exceptional. It's really easy to turn, and uh, I felt completely comfortable and in control the entire time. So the last thing I want to talk about is engine noise. There is a slight little hum as you're driving around. Let me... Uh, turn the audio back up on this clip to give you a taste. And I'm sorry about the wind noise, there's not much I can do about that. So, I mean, I don't think that's bad. It certainly didn't bother me while I was driving around, but it is worth mentioning that there is a little bit of a hum while you're cruising around. And I think I inadvertently skipped over two things. Uh, first off, brakes. Pretty much the same thing you'd see on a bike. You just squeeze these handles right here. And then to turn the scooter on and off, you just press this power button right here next to the LCD display. So uh, that's pretty much everything end-to-end -end on the Inokim Quick 3 electric scooter. After driving this thing for about an hour in uh, the equivalent of paradise, in my opinion, I think I'm going to give this one three stars. Look, this thing obviously is a blast to drive. I'm super happy that I rented it, but for $2,000... Man, I'd love to see a quicker charging time and maybe a little bit more of a top speed. 12 miles per hour is awfully slow, but uh, that's just me. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you join me next week when I'm back, hopefully, with another full review of a rental car. I'll see you then.